Welcome to this message of encouragement. Today I want to talk about God's faithfulness. But before I get started, I always like to ask those of you who are watching to please pray for our nation's leaders and please pray for those who are trying to destroy this great nation of ours. There is so much evil in this world right now and these people need prayer. The Bible instructs us to pray for people that it is allowing you know, Satan to control their thoughts and their actions. They need to be lifted up before the Lord because only prayer is going to change these people. Nothing else is going to going to make that great change. We've got to have that prayer for these people. Also, please pray for other Christians, for the lost, for just you know other people in general. We just remember your neighbors, your friends, your family, those who that you work with. Uh, people need prayer, and I'd appreciate it if you would you know remember other people in prayer. And talking about God's faithfulness, we should always remember God's faithfulness because a lot of times we have a tendency to forget and we think, you know, a lot of times that God has abandoned us or just left us or, you know, that he doesn't love us or that he's not even, you know, interested in us. But none of that is true because God doesn't forsake us. He doesn't leave us. He does love us and he does care about our well-being and he is concerned about our lives and he wants us to live a prosperous life. Second Timothy says, If we are not faithful, he is still faithful because God's strong foundation continues to stand. These words are written on the seal. The Lord knows those that belong to him, and everyone who wants to belong to the Lord must stop doing wrong. We must always be obedient to the Lord. That's what pleases the Lord, is being obedient. Not only our faith in believing in him, but also being obedient. In 2 Peter, we're told that the Lord is not slow at doing what he promised. No, God is just being patient with people, with, with you and with me. He's being patient because God does not want anyone to be lost. He does not want anyone to perish. And he is giving each one of us a chance to change our lives and to change our hearts. He is not slow in any way on his promises. So God is not putting up with things. He is actually giving people a chance to be saved. I hope that you, you that makes sense to you. Psalms 121 says that the Lord will not let you be defeated. He will guard you in your sleep. The Lord will protect you from all dangers. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard you as you come and go, both now and forever. In the book of Joshua, chapter 23, Joshua told his people, it's almost time for me to die. You know fully well and believe that the Lord has done great things for you. You know that he has not failed us or to keep any of his promises. So Joshua, you know, is re reminding the children of Israel, you know, of God's faithfulness because God, you know, never let them down. He was always with them and gave them victory over other armies. In Genesis chapter 28, we're told, I am with you and I will protect you everywhere you go. And that is a very comforting passage to know that God is always with us and he will never, never leave us alone. He will be with us everywhere we go. In 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 1 says, God who has called you to share everything with his son Jesus Christ our Lord is faithful. So we are definitely reminded here of God's faithfulness. In Isaiah chapter 54, the Lord says, This day is like the time of Noah to me. I promised then that I would never flood the world again. In the same way, I promise not to be angry with you or punish you again. The mountains may disappear and the hills may come to an end, but my love will never disappear. My promise of peace will not come to an end, says the Lord, who shows mercy to you. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 says, 
Now may God himself, the God of peace, make you pure, belonging only to him. May your whole self, spirit, soul, and body be kept safe without fault when our Lord Jesus Christ comes. You can trust the one who calls you to do that for you. He will keep us pure. He will keep us safe until he returns. And in Psalms 119 says, Lord, your love fills the earth. Teach me your decrees. You have done good things for your servants, as you have promised, Lord. So I hope that you've enjoyed the scriptures that we've just read through on God's faithfulness. Because like I said, it's always important to remember God's faithfulness because it's so easy to forget, especially when the ways of the world are coming against us and the ways of the world seem to be coming more and more stronger. That evilness in the world is coming more and more against us each day. You know, and, and especially Christians are taking a true pounding uh, from all this evil in the world. And we need to remember God's faithfulness and look for God's faithfulness because He will never abandon us. He will never forsake us. He will never leave us. He will never stop loving us. He will always be there for us. He will always protect us. He will always do what's in our best interest and He will keep us safe from harm if we put our faith and our trust in Him. God bless. Stay safe.